Algebra 1, 8.1b. Okay, this entire chapter 8 is about systems of equations. So I'm going to talk about solutions by graphing now. So we can find the solution to a system of equations by graphing, by drawing their lines. And we can graph the equations and find the coordinates of the point or points of intersection. Now, since the point or points of intersection are on both graphs, both lines, these ordered pairs are the solutions of the system. We can solve the system of equations by graphing. So here's our system of equations. Our two equations are x plus 2y equals 7 and x equals y plus 4. So first they need to be in slope-intercept form as y equals mx plus b. So we've got to put them that way. So what we do is we use our additive inverses and for the x plus 2y equals 7, we just subtract x from each side. That creates a zero pair here and eliminates it. And now we have 2y equals a negative x plus 7. So remember that x has to come up front. See? So remember our friend the invisible 1 is here, right? So this is like a negative 1x. Now, to get this y by itself, to solve for y, we have to divide each side by this 2 coefficient. That way, this turns into our friend the invisible 1 identity property, and we get y equals negative 1 half x plus 3.5, because that's what 7 over 2 is. So now it's in slope-intercept form. Let's do the next one. This one was y equal, uh, x equals y plus 4. So we're going to take away the 4 from each side to get this y by itself. That creates a zero pair here and eliminates it. And we get x minus 4 equals y on this side. Okay, so we've got this invisible uh, 1 in front of the x for the slope, don't we? So y equals 1x minus 4, all right? So we want to make sure that x is up front and the b, that negative 4, is in the back. So this one, the slope is negative half and the y-intercept is 3.5. This one, the slope is a 1 and the y-intercept is a negative 4. And we draw the lines, we graph them. So to have a negative half slope with a y-intercept at 3.5, so here's 3.5 in between the 3 and the 4. It's right here, okay? And it's got a negative 1 over 2 slope, so it's going to be a negative 1 run, rise with a 2 run. And because it's negative, we know it's going to fall to the right. Remember, if it's a positive slope, it rises to the right, and if it's a negative slope, it falls to the right. So we know that this one is going to fall to the right. It's going to go down 1 and over 2 as the slope. And the y-intercept is at 3.5 right here, so we know that's our line. We graphed it. Then we graph this one. It's got a slope of a positive 1, so that means it's going to rise to the right, and its y-intercept is a negative 4. So if we put the point at negative 4, that's its y-intercept right here, so it's got to go through that point, and then it's going to have a rise of a 1 over a 1 as a slope 1. See? The rise is 1 and the, and the run is 1. So that means the next point is going to be right here. So in order to graph this line, we come up this way with this blue line. Where do they intercept? They intercept at x for 5 and 1 for y. So 5 and 1, that should be a solution for this system. So we plug in the 5 is x and the 1 for y into both equations to see if it makes them both true. And yes, it does, because 5 plus 2 times 1 is 7. And 5 is equal to 1 plus 4. So yeah, it fits. It's a solution. See? So see how we had to put them in slope-intercept form first? Okay? I hope you followed how I did that, because now I'm going to explain to you about when we have, a, when we graph a system of two linear equations like we just did, there can be one of three possible things that can happen. Okay? The first one is that the lines are going to have one point or more of intersection. So there's one solution. Okay? That's where they cross. The place where they crisscross is the solution to the system of equations. Well, those are called consistent because there's one or more, one or more points of intersection, okay? Another possibility is that the lines are parallel, like this. So there's no point that intersects. No point satisfies the equation. The system has no solution. So parallel lines have no point of intersection, so there's no solution, and they're called inconsistent, 
all right? Consistent, they do cross at a point. Inconsistent, they never cross. Then our third possibility is the lines coincide as one line. One line is laying right on top of the other line. So we have our pink line and the blue one's laying right on top of it. See that? And the equations have the same graph. They have the same line. And every solution for the pink one, for one equation, is a solution for the other one because they're laying on top of each other. So you could have a million microscopic little points along these lines here that are a solution because they're the same. They're, they're touching at every single one of those. In this one, it's only touching at one spot. In this one, they're touching infinitely, aren't they? So there's an infinite amount of solutions when they coincide. Every solution for one equation is a solution for the other equation. There's an infinite number of solutions. Sorry about that focus. So lines that coincide like this have infinite solutions, so they're consistent like this one because they did meet at a point and they met at more than one. So they're consistent and dependent because they're dependent on each other, okay? Now our next video is going to be 8.2a. We're going to talk more about systems of equations. We're going to talk about substituting for a variable. And if you want to get a link to the proof of slope m or identifying solutions, this was our previous video, 8.1a. If you want to know about graphing and equations for parallel or perpendicular lines, they'll be in this description for links. And I'm going to put a link to my grade 8 math system of equations playlist because a lot of this is in that playlist. And both playlists, this Algebra 1 and the 8th grade one, have a little bit different things that I say in each video. So you can watch both sets for systems of equations. And then that'll really put you ahead. That'll really help you. Okay? All right. I hope this was helpful. And I'll see you next video. Bye.